everybody. My name is Dr. John Lucio. I practice integrative medicine and pain management in Jefferson City, Missouri. And welcome to our channel, the Midweek Check-In with J&J House Call. And this is my wife. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Sue. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We love integrative medicine and keeping you healthy. So always subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when our next video has been uploaded. We upload two videos a week because we just love to be with you guys. So you stay out of the doctor's office as much as you can. No. We're going to talk about social media, social media platforms. Like we use social media on a daily basis. How does that affect our health? There are both positive and negative effects on health. So we're going to talk about first, what exactly is social media? Um, when we discuss social media, we're not talking about just internet usage where people play games or they uh, do research. We actually looked up from Buffer Marketing Library how many social media platforms there are we found out there were 22, 22 social media platforms. The top five, number one, Facebook, number two, YouTube, number three, WhatsApp, number four, Messenger, number five, WeChat, number six, Instagram. So much social media out there. We're not even covering each one. We're gonna be talking about what are the effects, both positive and negative, that they can have on our health. So we're gonna break it down into pros and cons, but we're going to organize it by the six pillars of health, which you know are number one, sleep. Number two, movement and exercise. Number three, diet. Number four, nutritional optimization. And number five, hormone optimization. Number six is socialization. So let's start off with sleep. Cons, blue light emitted from our devices, whether it's laptops, computers, it's the screens, it's the blue light, it does disrupt our sleep. The pros of sleep. They have so many streaming music like white noise that helps us to sleep, also meditation apps. So there's lots of good things that can come out for our sleep. There's also tutorials on how to get better sleep and a lot of experts on sleep. And when you use that white noise to help you sleep, put that phone or that iPad down upside down so that screen, this blue light screen isn't facing up because that blue light does disrupt us even through our closed eyelids because the eyelids are pretty thin and blue light still gets through them in our sleep and disrupts our sleep. So always put all your devices upside down if you're going to be listening to noise. And that brings us into one of the tips later on. We're going to come up with four practical tips so that you can make your use of social media go toward the pro side. Number two, movement and exercise. Second pillar of health, movement and exercise. Cons. It makes us more sedentary. We're just sitting using our phones or our laptops or computers. Pros. There's lots of online exercise classes. He's done spinning online. We do hot yoga through the, an, an online class. There are also tutorials on how to exercise, how to do certain exercises. So that's the pro. Third pillar of health is diet. So in diet, I can't even think of one bad con with the use of social media and diet. The only one I can think, think of that is um, if you're not checking up on the actual information you're receiving. Ah, because it's true. even we mentioned when we were doing the diet series that there's so many people out there with chalkboards and dry eraser boards yeah. going over biochemical pathways about diets and the information for the most part is not correct. That's a good point. Or validated. That's yeah. a good point. Well, and on the pro side, you can get tips on how to cook an anti-inflammatory diet, how to shop for an anti-inflammatory diet. There's tons of health coaches out there. And also back to the exercise, there's health coaches that do wellness classes. Fourth pillar of health, nutritional optimization. Again, if you are listening to a source that isn't accurate, that could be a, a con. The pro is that you're gonna get lots of educational information, like our channel, on nutritional optimization. The fifth, pillar of health is hormone optimization. If you're getting bad information, it's going to be a con. If you get good information, it's a pro. The sixth and final one, as you all know, is socialization. What are, there's actually pros. Let's talk about the cons. The cons would be, obviously, um, I got a lot of these from two sources. One of them is Rodney Goody. He's a, he has an MBA. He talked about the fact that comparing ourselves to others is always very unhealthy. So naturally, these images on Instagram, even my Instagram, is very filtered. Like, you've seen me, and this is even a filtered environment. We use tons of light. Who uses this much light in the middle of the day? Well, it makes our complexion look pretty. So don't think we've got great complexions. 
Like we use a white circle light. We use all sorts of, we're in the sunlight to make us look better. So remember that the images you see on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram are all filtered, most of them filtered images that we want to portray a certain look. So be real, like this is real life. So he said that comparing ourselves to others is very unhealthy because these images are not real. They're the best part of people's lives and sometimes they're not even real. I took a picture, remember you took that of me just downtown Jefferson City and it was a brick wall and I was sitting on this, the stairs because I had a cute outfit on that was for my Instagram page and I think my post was like waiting for the taxi. I don't have to wait for a taxi here. We're in the middle of this small rural, or not really rural, but we don't have like, I wanted to portray that I was in New York or Brooklyn. See, these are not real images. Some people do have real feeds and I really, I like those because they show their real side and they make us feel like, okay, they're normal people. Another thing that they said was that um, this Child Mind Institute is another one that was a really good source. They said that a thumbs up and a thumbs down really do affect people's moods and there are higher rates of depression because of the need for validation from people. And I talked about it in one of the previous videos on my own experience with hateful comments and things. You're gonna get them if you put yourself out there in the world. And like I said, um, those do impact you. So it took me a year and a half on my other YouTube channel of today, days that he would notice that I was down. My mother noticed too. And so if you've got loved ones around and they're noticing that you are having some trouble, you'll seem a little bit distracted or you'll not do your normal activities that you used to do. Talk about it. And it is, it didn't even impacted me and I'm 48 years old. Like why would someone saying a mean comment affect me? because we all want validation from people and we work so hard on videos. But in that video, I do discuss how those people are not relevant in your life. This is America. They're allowed to do bad comments. They're allowed to do mean comments. They're allowed to do give you a thumbs down. You don't know if it's like a six or eight year old kid that's just up in their room mad at the world because they got grounded and they're gonna take it out on you. So it does impact us. Tips and the pros for the social socialization is it does connect us. So it's this time of the coronavirus pandemic, we have connected with each other, with families doing Zoom, doing Skype, doing Facebook, to watch people and to connect with them that are far away from us that we can't even look through a window to connect with. There's also online, like I keep talking about exercise classes using Zoom, Zumba, recommends Zoom or Skype because we can see each other and we kind of are together even though we're in our separate homes. If you're if you're a senior citizen, it's really important to stay connected and these social platforms do allow them to still keep in touch with their loved ones. So we've came up with four tips so you can turn the balance to the pros when you use social media. Number one, turn off all notifications. That means that um, usually when you sign up for an app, whether it's Facebook, WeChat, um, YouTube, Instagram, Messenger, if you turn on notifications, they will notify you whenever someone has said something. Well, that's gonna interrupt your real life relationships. So make sure you don't turn those notifications on. You can always go to the app when you have, number two, set a certain time in your day that you will devote to social media. So you're not taking away from your real life loved ones that love you the most. I remember dad telling me like, you hurt the ones that you love the most, which is really true. Like the people, the real people that we can touch and feel that actually care about us should be our priority. So leave a time in that day that you are answering your messages, that you're um, doing your social media content, that you're responding to your followers, that you're liking other people's videos and set that amount of time so that afterwards you put that away and you're in the real world. So that brings us into number uh, three. Maintain as many real life relationships in the real world as you do on social media and that does keep people balanced. I got that from Rodney Godby, like, or it was Child Mind Institute, I can't remember. I think that's why we have remained normal because we have to be in the real world all the time. So you guys know us in the real world and you know us here and we're no different. 
from the real world or here. So maintain as many real life relationships as you can if you're really into, if you're a social media person. Final tip is to realize all the images you're seeing on these social platforms are filtered. And they're filtered not in terms of, like sure it could be a practical filter where we make ourselves look prettier or more um, dramatic or gorgeous. We're talking about filters like, I'm not gonna show boring things in my life. I'm only gonna show the best parts of my life. And so remember that what you're seeing in other people's lives don't compare to your own life because they're only showing you what they want you to see. And comparing ourselves to other people is truly as Dr. Goody said is not healthy, it's unhealthy. Um, if you have comments or experience with your kids or your own experience, please comment below, share with us. We'd love to hear from you. Next video is going to be another diet. We're going to be talking about the DASH diet, which has been used a lot to help control high blood pressure. So those of you that are out there that have this problem, you're taking medication, please tune in. And after that, we're going to be talking about what pets help us the most with our health. You mean like dogs and cats? And mm -hmm. Very good. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a great Sunday. Mm -hmm.